Connecting the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane. What does it mean for a woman with diabetes knowing Reed's Wound Healing Center treats difficult to heal wounds with a success rate greater than 90%? More than you know. More than you know is closer than you think. Reed Hospital and Healthcare Services. Welcome to Kix 96 and WHO in Video News. It's Monday, May the 12th. I'm Jeff Lane. A chase last night on I-70 in Wayne and Preble counties resulted in the arrest of a Connersville man and the recovery of some heroin. It all happened at around 8 o'clock last night when a Connersville woman was contacted by the Ohio Highway Patrol. Her boyfriend, who was identified as Jeremy Pence, had allegedly taken her car without permission. Pence took the car into Preble County, where the pursuit began after officers tried to pull him over for speeding. Pence then headed back west toward the state line with numerous officers in pursuit. He crashed at the state line. When taken into custody, Pence gave troopers a false name. Officers located two bundles of heroin inside the car. Pence was taken to the Wayne County Jail. Some morning thunderstorms accompanied by heavy winds took their toll on portions of the Whitewater Valley yesterday, especially in Henry County. About 2,300 Duke Energy customers in Henry County were without power when the storm rolled through at about 9 o'clock yesterday morning. The outage for some, lasted until late last night. Fayette County had another 150 customers in the dark. Duke's website indicates that all power has been restored. Houses in the Memorial Park area of Newcastle were damaged by tree limbs that fell across roofs. Cleanup is continuing across Henry County today. No injuries were reported. Also, High Water has a couple of Union County roads closed today. They include Rutherford Road, County Road 200 North, and Greenwood Church Road. A decision could come today or tomorrow regarding the Richmond Police Department's cruiser policy that currently allows officers to take their patrol cars home when their shift ends. The idea of parking cruisers is to help offset the skyrocketing cost of gas. Other fuel consumption methods, though, have saved the department significantly in the last couple of months. The department saved nearly 20 percent, or about $5,000, by taking other fuel-saving measures. The cruiser take-home policy was put into effect more than 20 years ago to help offset neighborhood crime and give officers faster response time in case of emergency. But since then, the demographics have changed. Now less than half of RPD's 70 or so officers live inside the city limits. Officers who live outside the city limits currently pay a fee to take their cruisers home. And a relatively minor house fire in Lynn over the weekend could have been much worse had it not been for a firefighter who lived nearby. A kitchen fire broke out Saturday at the home of Ruth Lester, who lives by herself and is in her 90s. Lester tried to phone her daughter and son-in-law who live next door. They were outside and did not answer. Lester then called 911, but instead of leaving the house, she sat down on the kitchen floor. Firefighter Jeff Baker lives nearby and heard the call dispatched. He went to the home and got Lester out. She was not hurt. The house sustained some smoke damage. This has been Kix 96 and WHO in Video News. I'm Jeff Lane. Have a great day. Leading the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane.